You're listening to Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast. Welcome to Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast. And now your host, Melissa Jakubovic. Hey, 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 everybody. Today we are talking about conscious language. Conscious language means thinking consciously about the words that we use to describe things in our life. So most of the time people speak before they think, but thinking before we speak actually has tangible, measurable impacts on our lives. And that's what we're going to talk about today and how it relates to marketing especially. So conscious language for manifesting positive change is really effective when you can think about the words that you're using, especially when you're talking to yourself in your self-talk or when you're speaking to your dream customer. So how you describe yourself is how you will be. Think carefully about what you say after the words, I am. So if you're constantly referring to yourself as busy or tired or overwhelmed, I don't want you to be surprised if you feel that way. If you say, I'm tired. Yeah, you're going to feel pretty tired, right? The same goes for your life. If you want to manifest really big things, you need to use the right words in order to do that. So instead of I want, I want you to say I choose, I desire, or even I can. And you can reframe your negative thoughts this way. So instead of saying I'm not great at this, maybe you can use I'm learning more about this every day. And just by making that small little change, you'll start to see that things start going your way because you are learning more about it every day and you are trying best, trying your best to do things instead of just automatically saying, eh, not for me. You can open yourself up to more possibilities by just the language that you're using. So get rid of the word try. As Yoda says, do or do not, there is no try. Get rid of I will while you're at it. Don't say I will have a cleaner house. Say I choose a clean house and I'm taking steps to make it so. This way, if you don't have time to clean your house today, you don't just shut it out right away. You just say it's happening. It's happening slowly. It's a process and you're giving yourself that permission to create the skills that you need to finalize what you're trying to work on at every day, one step at a time. So really pay attention to your language in your life. And now let's shift it over to marketing. When you're using your conscious language in your marketing, you're going to be able to attract the right client and speak the language that they want to hear and really get your message out there in a way that will convey exactly what you're trying to put out there. So use personalized language. People prefer to be addressed directly. Michael Agard of Content Verve performed an A-B split test on a set of buttons, and he found that by changing one small detail that he was able to increase his button clicks by 90%. That's huge. That's super huge. So he changed the button that said, start your free trial today into start my free trial today. All he did was change the words your to my. And the reason why that was so effective for his audience is because he was talking to his audience saying start your free trial. But when you click on a button as the consumer, it's not your free trial, it's my free trial. So just by changing the words start my free trial today, it gave them this oomph like, yes, I want to start my free trial today. And so I encourage you to do two things. Pay attention to your language and also to split test. And I just did a podcast about split testing, so go check it out if you need help with that A-B testing. So just by changing that one little thing, it can make a huge difference. Imagine having a 90% opt-in rate just because you changed one word. Also, be brief and tell your customer what to do, exactly what to do. Have you ever heard of KISS, keep it stupid simple, or some people say keep it super simple? That's what you need to do. Don't just assume everybody knows what to do. Speak to everyone like they're on a third grade level because when they're looking at your sales page and they're looking at your landing pages or whatever you're having them go to that has a call to action, It might be so obvious to you of what the next steps are. But while the person is reading that, they're using a certain part of their brain that really needs to be focused and told what to do. Step one, step two, step three. So don't say, if you want to learn more, click here. I want you to be brief and specific, 
click here to learn more. And that makes a big difference. If you're just saying, if you want to learn more, click here, you're then giving them this option. Hmm, do I wanna click here or do I not wanna click here? But if you just tell them like it is, click here to learn more, they're gonna take that direction from you. It's gonna put you in the alpha position and they're gonna click. So pay attention to the language that you use and your business will feel like a solution to your prospects and to your consumers. And that's what you want. You wanna be their solution. You don't wanna be another piece of noise that they have to figure out what to do next. So be really concise, be really direct, and be really conscious with your language. I'll see you next time. If you loved this episode, head over to iTunes to subscribe and leave us a review so we can reach more people and share our content with those that can benefit most. And before you go, I want to invite you to join my Social Marketing Academy, where you can master the skills you need to manage and scale your own business or your clients' businesses. This membership will give you all the tools you need to be successful online and teach you how to engage properly with your ideal audience. New courses are constantly being added to the Academy, and you can work Work through them at your own pace. Check it out now at socialmarketingacademy.org. Thanks for listening to the Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast at www.marketingtipswithmelissa.com.